Copyright 2014, Math Diagnostics and Intervention, All Rights Reserved. We're going to take a look at combining like terms at level 1. So let's take a look at a level 1 problem, which might be 6x plus 4 plus 3x plus 1. And we have a couple of like terms here. We have our 6x, same exact variable raised to the same exact power, and our 3x, same exact variable raised to the same exact power. And we have 4 and 1 as like terms. Same exact variable, no variable, raised to the same exact power. So then we can just combine our like terms. 6x plus 3x, that's 9x. 4 and 1, 4 plus 1 is 5. Now notice we are done at this point because 9x and 5 are not like terms, we cannot combine them. Let's take a look at another problem. Let's take a look at 4n minus 6 minus 8n plus 7. To see what's really going on here, I'm going to change all of my subtractions into addition, and I'm going to make this 4n plus negative 6 plus negative 8n plus 7. And now I can identify my like terms and add them. I have 4n and negative 8n as like terms and I have negative 6 and 7 as like terms. So when we combine 4n and negative 8n, we get negative 4n. And when we combine negative 6 and positive 7s, 7 we get positive 1. And that's the result of our like terms. And notice again, we cannot go any further because negative 4n and 1 are not like terms, we cannot combine them any further. Now there are a couple of other things that can happen when you're combining like terms, one of which is, suppose we just have 4x minus 8 plus 12x. In this case here, we do have a 4x and a 12 that we can combine as like terms, but our 8 here, our negative 8, has nothing to combine with, and that's okay. We just combine what we can. In this case, 4x plus 12x is 16x, and the negative 8 having no one to combine with stays as negative 8. So when we combine our like terms, our end result in this case is 16x minus 8. A couple of other things can happen, but let's take a look at one of them. Suppose we have negative 3x plus 7 plus 3x minus 9. Once again, we have negative 3x and 3x that are like terms. We also have 7 and negative 9 as like terms. Negative 3x plus 3x is 0. 7 and negative 9, when we combine those, that's negative 2. But we would never leave an answer like this. It's not completely simplified. 0 minus 2, keep, add, change. The negatives win by 2, and our final answer is negative 2. Our x's went away. That's okay, our x is added out to 0, and 0 is an easy number to deal with, and sometimes that will happen. The other thing that can happen at a level 1 combining like terms problem is something like, let's make that negative 3x plus 5 minus 9x plus 6 minus 4x minus 9. The rules don't change just because the numbers get a little longer or look a little more complicated. 
we have like terms in negative 3x, negative 9x, and negative 4x. We also have like terms at 5, 6, and negative 9. So we're going to combine negative 3x plus negative 9x plus negative 4x all together. That's negative 16x. And then we're going to combine 5 plus 6 plus negative 9. That's 2. And we're done. The key to remember uh, how to solve or how to simplify a level 1 combining like terms problem is to remember your definition of like terms, combine the things you can, and don't combine the things you shouldn't or can't, and recognize when you are done with the problem. We are done right there. Stop. If you remember these things, you'll have very few difficulties combining like terms. Have fun and good luck.